Well, this afternoon we've come to San Vaglan and after weeks and weeks of searching for a so-called pirate's grave, uh, we're just basically a stone throw away. It's here behind us. So hopefully today we're actually going to find it. Cross fingers. Eglois Baglan, as it's known locally, is a couple of miles from the historic town of Carnarvon. It's accessible from the roadside, but takes a few minutes to get there by foot. As you will be crossing private land, please respect this and be aware that there may be farm animals about, so remember to shut the gates. to San Baglan. It's taken us quite a while to find it. The reason we came here uh, in the beginning was to find or try and find what is rumoured to be a pirate's grave. Now we found the stone outside which has a skull and crossbone on it but is it a pirate's grave or not? We're not quite sure. Uh, local historians would perhaps suggest otherwise but it's definitely a very very interesting place and I would uh, encourage you to come here and have a look yourself and decide for yourselves what you think it could be. Well, Gar, we've finally made it here. Do you think it's been worth all the, the travelling and...? <laughs> oh yeah, most definitely, yeah. This is... Um, uh, it's awesome. It's what, we, what I expected, maybe a little bit more. It really does show um, how people used to live, even though we think they were ignorant people back in the centuries ago, that they have some intelligence to build such a fabulous building as this. And don't forget, in those days, it wasn't by tools that we know now. It was all handmade, it was all done with the tools, which they probably made on their own farms and their own houses. Uh, and well, you know, to ma manufacture this sort of thing out of nothing, uh, just beyond comprehension. What would you say was the first thing that struck you as you came through the door then? Uh, uh, as soon as I walked through the door, it, was, it just struck me as a peaceful place. A peaceful, peaceful place. And um, I, I'm overwhelmed by it. I must say I'm overwhelmed by it all. It, it, it's what I expected and more. And more. Yeah, it's well worth, well worth it. Now we've been for a walk in the grounds and uh, we've actually seen what uh, local people uh, and legends uh, would suggest is a pirate scrape but it, it's a bit of a, a difficult one to, isn't it? Well it's very difficult, we can show you on film the pirate scrape now whether the skull and crossbones shows up um, very well I don't know but it definitely is a skull and crossbones. But there again, there's a bit of suspicion as to what it is, if it is a pirate or is it something else. Um, my personal opinion is um, that it isn't a pirate, that it is something to do with the religion of the day, uh, 18th, 17th, 16th century religion, um, which Scott and Crossbones were, apparently they were quite a common sight in those days, and, and it was uh, a case of, could it have been a, a Masonic, a Masonic um, grave, or somebody from a wealthy family, which probably is more to the truth than the pirate's grave. Now, unfortunately, I still don't think that we've wasted our journey. Um, you know, we've come to look, we've found the grave with the skull and crossbones on it, but I don't know if it is what it is we're actually looking for. But having said that, um, there is definite proof that not far from here, there is a site which is an actual pirate's grave. No, I'm not sure that is but our search will continue. <laughs> You get the feel for the place, don't you? You're looking up here, you know, you can imagine, you know, people sitting here oh, yeah. in years gone by. And yeah. as you were saying earlier, the thickness of the walls, yeah. the light coming through the windows, yeah. it's fantastic, it's isn't it? You can even picture, you can, you can envisage a figure in the pulpit there and all looking down at us, you know. Uh, it, you know, I can see him there, to be honest. It, 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 you know, they're just kind, solid, certain speakers these people who come to these churches they give you an honest opinion you know they're quite awesome people as well to be honest um, they were 
you know, the congregation would be quite scared of them because they were that powerful in, in, the, in the speech, you know, they, they've put the fear of God up here. <laughs> and that's probably why they were here. <laughs> and wait, it, is, it is a bit of a shame that it's not open generally to the public, but there is information here at the main door of uh, people to call, and you can call just like we did, get the, the key, and uh, come inside and have a look for yourselves. It's definitely uh, worth a visit. Yeah, I've just found this map um, inside the church with some other papers. Um, and it's, right, it's upside down, but it's the right way up as far as we're looking at it. That is the entrance into the, the way we've come in now. And to the right hand side of that, it's it's medieval and up to the corner in front of me to the right hand side it's all medieval now further down towards the window on the far end that's back to that's 14th century and blends into the 16th century so this building has been in use from the beginning of the 14th century and it was actually built in 1241 so the church does match up with the age of Carnarvon Castle. So before leaving we had one final look at the pirate's grave. And whether it was a real pirate's grave or not, we had really enjoyed ourselves. We would be returning again to Eglois Baglan. And why not come here and have a look yourself? Only one of the armchair tours that we feature. There are other fantastic places in Wales, but this was going to be a visit that we wouldn't forget.